Yo, what's good folks, SAP dude here, how you doing? Thanks a lot for your feedback, all the comments like for example this one, this one, and this, and this, yeah. Yeah, I will post more SAP stuff, this is the mission of this channel. Wanna be part of it? Consider subscribing it. I truly believe we will be a big army in the near future. Okay, but that was it, let's get down the business. This place you already know pretty good, Texas Workshop. What you may not know are the new vehicles, this white SUV and this Dodge Ram. I also had a quick chat with the maintenance director, he said they don't stop. In the next 6 months they will acquire about 20 vans like these. They are planning to expand their services, so not only Texas and not only in-house repair but also on-field activities. And that's why we are here today. They want to manage their fleet efficiently and take proper decisions. In other words, it's time for Texas Workshop to enable fleet management. And for us right now, it's time to quickly understand what the heck it means. Let's do it. What is fleet management? Fleet management is taking care of a group of vehicles like cars or trucks to make sure they are being used well stay in good condition and help the business save money. It involves keeping track of where the vehicles are, fixing them when needed, and managing things like fuel and driver safety. We can outline the following five main components which form fleet management. Vehicle acquisition, so the beginning of the whole vehicle life cycle, starting from purchase or a lease. Then maintenance and repairs, ideally only in the form of preventive activities to make sure the vehicle is up and running all the time. Fuel management, so basically control over the cost of fuel, making sure the fleet is used in an efficient and optimized way. Driver management and compliance and safety. So here for instance we can include GPS trackers to track location of our people to make sure in case of emergency we know where they at and stuff. Now let's see how SAP supports fleet management. What do you think? Which SAP module is the most appropriate for fleet management? You saw the components and one of them was maintenance and repairs. If your answer was plan maintenance, also called EEM or just asset management, you are right. Fleet management is the standard component of SAP plan maintenance module. As for HANA, and previous versions. You don't have to install any add-ons, but of course there is a separate configuration for it which you have to perform. I will show you the details really soon. Before that, let's build some workflow, see some fleet management processes and map them with SAP World. This way at the end of the video we can assess if SAP supports this business area good enough. As always on this channel, we learn by doing and by following concrete examples. Meet the white GMC Ventura. This van is one of eight vehicles which form the current Texas Workshop fleet. Manufactured in 2000 year, 5.7 liter diesel engine, 164 horsepower. They use it for various purposes, spare parts delivery, sometimes also on field services. This is where we begin. Actually, we have to move in time, six months back to be specific. This is when this van was purchased by Texas Workshop. You remember the first component in fleet management, the fleet acquisition? Exactly, this is it. How is this activity reflected in SAP? It takes place by so-called purchase order. Of course, before it, we can have a quotation and other stuff, but let's keep it really simple. We pay the invoice, we receive the brand new GMC van, it's in our Texas Workshop facility. And it's also in SAP, in Plan Maintenance Module, to be specific. Fleet objects are assets, and assets in SAP PM EEM are reflected as equipment or functional location. Here we are talking about movable object. That's why fleet is always mirrored in the system as equipment. Of course, the object holds all the information about the van, the manufacturer, engine type and stuff. It's crucial because all those things will be needed in our business processes. When we talk about processes, the next component was maintenance and repairs, right? This is what SAP Plan Maintenance supports also for fleet. 
For instance, we received a list of preventive activities which should be done, for example, every one and three months. Like these two, oil change every month and inspection of brakes every three months. It ain't rocket science in the system. We create so-called maintenance plan with the list of tasks, then we schedule it and voila. The same applies to unexpected issues. Let's say one of your drivers notice one of the headlights is damaged. If he has an access to SAP, for instance by a mobile app, SAP Service and Asset Manager, he can create so-called notification. When it comes to maintenance and repairs, SAP supports fleet management in the same way like other assets. And that's good for sure. The next component was fuel management. And this is what we will spend the most time for in this video. Fuel management is also supported by SAP Plant Maintenance Module. There are dedicated objects and transactions for fuel management and in general for fleet. Now you should have good understanding what fleet management is about. Let's jump into SAP world and do it together. We will start with a glimpse of configuration specific for fleet management. So what you see right now is a small part of steps which we gotta do in the system. Fleet object types, fluid type configuration, engine type of our vehicle and many many more. Why we need these things? They will be used in master data creation for equipment to be specific. And other stuff will be used for fuel management. If you want to configure fleet management in SAP together with proper master data preparation, I got you covered. It doesn't make sense to go through all the steps in this video. That's why I wrote an article on my website, you just follow it and fleet management in your SAP is ready to be used by your users or yeah, clients. Everything is there, a list of 19 steps with configuration and master data. Our GMC Ventura is reflected in SAP as an equipment. We maintain the master data, the engine type, its capacity, horsepower, fuel type, and other stuff. This is it. I mentioned SAP supports fuel management. It's nothing else than measurement readings, but with some additional standard logic from SAP behind. I create them now really quick, so the first one for fuel, the second one for mileage. This one will be a counter. Voila! Now we can book fuel consumption in the system. I got good and bad news. The good one is, it's possible to do it in SAP. Huh. The bad news is, there is no Fury app for it. Basically, for fleet management, there is no standard Fury app from SAP. Everything is GUI based. So is the transaction IFCU, which is used for fuel consumption and mileage readings. I select the GMC, the gas station, which holds a storage location behind it, and the app. We enter, for instance, 65 liters. On the same screen, we can also enter the mileage, the counter. I save it. What happened behind are two things. The measurement documents are created for the fuel and the mileage. And the second thing is only for fuel. Material document is also created with the goods issue, the consumption of the fuel. So what else do we have here in SAP for fleet management? We have some reports like for instance this one for yeah, fuel consumption analysis. We have some others to have vehicles overview, control the master data. And actually this is it. Only this I would say. I won't judge if this solution is bad or not. I leave it to you. I'm a UI UX enthusiast looking into new steps, especially for maintenance. If it was me to implement it these days to one of the clients without any low-code, no-code stuff on top or other things, I wouldn't do it. The system needs data, but the system is also for people. This is something we will touch again in the future on this channel, so yeah, nah, I'm not done here yet. For now, that was it. If you like the video, the things which I'm showing here on this channel, consider smashing the subscribe button so you won't miss anything new. Check out the description of this video, I got also a LinkedIn page where you can see many stuff like this for instance, or this one. Yeah, stay solid and see you in the next video.